Hello everyone, I'm Mark. How's it going? Which university do you go to? That's the woman I was telling you about. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at stranded prepositions, so stay tuned. I was taught at school that we shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition. However, language has evolved and we see stranded prepositions almost everywhere. Not everywhere, but almost everywhere. And there is not set rule that obliges you to omit them. So then we need to use them carefully if you want a statement to end with a preposition. So what are stranded prepositions? Well, stranded is an adjective that means left behind. So stranded prepositions are used at the end of a sentence or questions. And they are part of uh, prepositional phrases, like in the classroom or at the cinema, etc. If you want to watch a lesson on prepositional phrases, you can click here. An important thing to remind you is that do not confuse prepositions with particles. Particles are found in, for example, phrasal verbs like get on with, look after. If you wish to watch a lesson on this, on phrasal verbs, you may click here. Then prepositions get stranded when the noun moves up to the front of the clause. For example, when uh, we use WH question words like how, what, where, when, uh, who, etc or when we use relative clauses. And if you want to watch a lesson on relative clauses, you may click here. So let's look at when we use WH question words, like in my example. Which university do you go to? So this too is the preposition that is left behind, that is stranded, right? So I go to Queen's University, to UFT for example. So I go to. So which university do you go to? Okay, so we have an example of stranded prepositions. In other words, when we move the interrogative pronoun at the front of the statement, you can see how the preposition gets stranded. So another example, she laughed at, and I want to ask who? Who did she laugh at? And there we have the preposition that gets stranded. So another example, they were with who? Who were they with? So with is the preposition that gets stranded. Stranded prepositions with relative clauses. Let's look at my introductory example. That's the woman that I was telling you about. Well, that you can leave it out. I think in my introductory example, I left it out. But in this case, I chose to write it. So th that's the woman that I was telling you about. About is the stranded preposition. So I could even say formally, that's the woman about whom, about whom I was telling you. Let's look at another example. Is that the employee who she came with? Or formally, is that the employee with whom she came? And the final example is, is a social group that many belong to. Or formally, is a social group to which many belong. So can you insert a preposition in this sentence? This is the lesson. A student of English talked. Once someone said, the only journey is the one within. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you want to ask a question or write a comment or even an example of stranded prepositions, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and see you next week with a new English lesson. Take care, bye-bye.